All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Zen's Planet Collection Revived mod, which was originally made back in the day by user Zenoclave. It has now been resurrected by a small team of forum users, and what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is a lovely new selection of planets and moons built into the in-game solar system, as well as a very interesting tweak to one of our favorite planets of Duna, which I very much enjoy. So let's jump into the tracking station and have a look at what all we do get. Now let's actually zoom out and start our uh, adventure here at the sun, and then tab over to our first planet, of course, being Moho, which is, of course, in the normal game. And then Eve, and then Eve has a fun new moon. In fact, it's got a few new moons here, and the first of which is Aiden, which is 120 kilometers in size with no atmosphere to speak of, but is a very lovely green rocky world. We then have the moon of Neith, or Nath, not entirely sure how to say that. This one a bit smaller and only 32 kilometers in size, very irregular in its shape, and again, no atmosphere. Then after that, we have Gilly, as per usual, Kerbin, Moon, Minmus, Duna, with now rings and holy crap i love this you guys know if you've watched my videos i'm a sucker for a ringed planet and duna having rings now just makes me happy but you may also notice we have another orbit path over here because not only do we have the usual moon of ike we now also have nike <laughs> The little brother moon in a very odd and interesting orbit. Look at that. That's uh gets a little little close over there and over there. Very interesting. Now it's quite small, only 38 kilometers in size, very irregular, and again, no atmosphere to speak of, but I think a nice little addition. And I mean, come on, who doesn't like those rings on Duna? It's just fun. Now, after that, we have an entirely new planet of Myos, which has a very interesting strip of water along the equator. Now, it is at 350 kilometers in size and does have an atmosphere. And, of course, lovely, lovely water. Now, it does, of course, have a few new moons, the first of which being Glack, which is only 20 kilometers in size with no atmosphere and a nice little blue ball. And I forgot to mention with Myos... Another freaking ring. Love it. And back to Glack, though. Just, yeah, a nice little thing. Traveling in between the two thin rings here. Very nice indeed. And the next moon here is a Cirque. Or again, Circe. Don't know quite how to say that. But 35 kilometers in size. Once more, very irregular. With a very interesting color palette. It reminds me of something. And I just can't for the life of me put my finger on it. Hmm. Oh well, on to the next, we have Drez as per usual, then we have another new planet of Rachel. once more a glorious ringed world with two rings, a nice little inner ring here and an outer ring here, and it is a pretty large planet at 450 kilometers in size, it does have an atmosphere and a lot of murky oceans all around the place. Now it does have a moon which oddly is named exactly the same. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but it is a much smaller rocky body of a 35 kilometers in size with no atmosphere, but does travel quite quite nicely along that ring, which just amuses me. Now then we have Jewel as per usual with its moons of Lathe, Val, Tylo, Bop, and pull. Then we have Elo, now with some moons. The first moon of Elo now being Alu here, which is 145 kilometers in size, no atmosphere, but a nice little, uh, nicely textured world. I kind of like the the odd like bits of tan around most of it with the blodge of white. Very cool. And then we have Barros, much smaller at only 12 kilometers in size and no atmosphere on this thing. It's basically just a hunk of rock hurtling through space. And then we have Kix, another even smaller ball of rock hurtling through space at only six kilometers in size, again, with definitely no atmosphere. And that brings us back to the sun. So a nice little selection of things. I do love the newly added planets and moons. I gotta admit, my favorite change in this entire mod, though, is the ring around Duna, plus the whole icon 
Nike names are kind of amuse me. But I mean, come on, it's a glorious ring around Duna. It's gorgeous. But let's actually take a look a little bit closer in person with this satellite I have here of Rachel, which is... Of the new planets, definitely my favorite. You've got the murky waters, the just brown kind of boringish land, honestly, but the glorious rings, it's just, ha. Uh, I don't know why I love ringed worlds so much, but they are wonderful. But yeah, that is the Zen's Planet Collection Revived. So if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. Not much more to go on about besides some cool planets and moons. So if you uh, have enjoyed, I do hope you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one!